Everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, then you probably know how big of a fan I am of Teslas. In August of 2022, I picked up the all new Tesla Model X, the refreshed one, and I absolutely love it. And now in our family, we're getting an additional Tesla and that's the new Tesla Model Y performance. And this one is for my mom. We ordered this vehicle two weeks ago, right around the time when Tesla announced the price reductions across all their Tesla cars. So we got very excited, especially knowing that we're getting this Tesla Model Y that my mom always wanted, but now we're getting that price reduction as well. So we ordered the car and a couple days ago, we you know picked today as the delivery day. And so without any further ado, let's go pick this car up and I'll show you everything. All right, everyone, so I just now arrived at the Tesla showroom. My parents and my brother are already inside. They're super excited to get the Model Y and get the delivery process started. Now, just to tell you about the model that we ordered, it's a white Tesla Model Y performance. We paid $1,000 extra to get the white interior. And like with any performance vehicle, it comes with the performance tire, so we didn't have to upgrade to anything extra for that. So I'm very excited for those 21 inch performance wheels. And of course, it comes with base autopilot and stuff like that. And with that $1,000 upcharge for the white interior, it's $57,990. And obviously, that's the price before the taxes. And we were very lucky to order this car just in time when Tesla reduced the prices. And now I'm going to head on inside and I'm going to show you the car that we purchased and the overall delivery experience. All right, guys, here it is. The 2023 Model Y Performance. It is absolutely beautiful. I really love the 21 inch performance wheels, especially with the red calipers, which are only available if you get the Performance Model Y. And it also differentiates it from the long range Model Y. And another exterior difference between this and the long range is that on the back of this model, you have this dual motor badge and you get this nice carbon fiber spoiler, which in my opinion makes this SUV more sporty looking. Now let me show you the inside. The inside is very simple and clean, just like all previous year Model Ys. You get the steering wheel and this 15 inch touchscreen display where literally all the controls are. The black and white interior is super nice and I love this expansive all glass roof that creates extra headroom as well. Now, one thing I noticed in this 2023 model is that if you are in the front passenger seat, this button right here does not do anything. In the driver's seat, this button allows you to adjust lumbar support forward, backwards, up and down. And even though you have to cut out for it on the front passenger seat, it is not a button. It does nothing. Now, the explanation that Tesla gives for the removal of this lumbar support for the front passenger seat is that they collected data that showed that there wasn't a lot of usage of this feature by passengers. Another thing that I noticed about this 2023 model is that they made it a little more soundproof. So they took out the plastic side moldings on the doors and replaced it with Alcantara moldings. They also replaced the inside of the doors with carpet. This not only reduces noise, but also adds a more premium touch in comparison to plastic. And not just in the front doors, but also the back doors as well. And speaking of the back of the Model Y, you have really nice legroom as well. Now let's take a look at the trunk. You obviously get fantastic trunk space, but for the first time ever in the 2023 model, they're offering a trunk cover, which also helps reduce a lot of noise while covering the things you put in your trunk. Now, what's nice is that the cover is held in place by magnets, so it doesn't bounce around and make noise. You also get this slot for additional storage as well, and it's pretty deep, so it's good for storing things in here as well. Last but not the least, let's take a look at the front trunk. 
It's a nice sized front trunk, which in my Model X I primarily use for storing small luggage and takeout food, so it doesn't make the interior of my car smell like food. So all in all, this 2023 Model Y is similar to the previous year models. It definitely comes with slight modifications, which makes it a little more premium and soundproof. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for a full review of this performance Model Y, and be sure to give this video a like. Till then, see you next time.